Cheers, Internet, and welcome to Happy Fun Time Games, the podcast trivia segment that is always logged into the correct account. <laughs> Today, we are joined by Laura Lacey from Attic Brewing in the Germantown section of Philadelphia, a fairly new brewery in the scene here in Philly. Thanks for joining us, Laura. Oh. She will be competing against my co-hosts, Dan and Steph, in a battle for nothing more than trivial glory and happy fun time games. And today, is it trivial glory as in it's trivia or trivial as in it doesn't matter or both? It's, both. It's got layers. And today our game in happy fun time is libation or fabrication. This is a lightly themed one. See if you can find the theme in the questions. Oh God, is that a bonus point if you can no, find it's, the it's, theme? No, it's, it's super obvious. You'll know okay. about the second beer. <laughs> so <laughs> the way this game works, if you don't know, is I'm gonna give you a bizarre name of a beer and you each have to guess whether that name is real or if I just made it up. And we're gonna go round Robin style, starting with Dan to guess. This is our first beer of the game. Tell me, is it real or is it fake? This beer is called Grin and Ferret. <laughs> I was just talking to somebody today on a call at work about ferrets, so I'm going to say fake. <laughs> All right, Dan is saying that is fake, not a real beer. So you're saying that it came to me like an osmosis? Probably. Because we were in the same house at the same time? Okay. All right, Steph, what do you think? It does sound very Wayne. <laughs> Who what brewery would put ferret in the name of their beer? <laughs> unless it's some, unless it's somebody's of, name. Can, can you spell it? There's. Uh, can I spell it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll spell it. G R I N space A N E space F E R R E T. I just meant ferret, but thank you. <laughs> I mean, I was curious how you spelled grin. <laughs> Slash beer busters for a 10% discount. Once again, that code is what? G R I N. <laughs> Steph, what's your answer? Uh, yep. I'm going to say fake. Steph is also saying it's fake, agreeing with Dan. Laura, it's finally on you. What do you think? Grin and ferret. I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna say it's fake. Everybody's saying fake. Everybody is correct. Woo. It is Woo. in fact fake. It is not a beer, but it does appear in the title of the 1999 novel Grin and Ferret: A Warm and Fuzzy Guide to Life by the uh, author Gian Carley. A hardcover copy of this book, brand new on Amazon, goes for five hundred and ninety-six dollars and two cents. What? So I take it it's out of print. It, it is out of print, but you can get a used one for about 16 bucks. Also say, it's, it's the two cents that puts me over. If it were three cents cheaper, I'm in. Yeah, it's, it's about ferrets and a friendship. It's all uh, cute and cuddly. Um, but apparently it was part of a series of ferret themed things that this author uh, produced, inclu including calendars. Listen, other... I like ferrets, but that's that's a little much. It's like eat, pray, love, but with ferrets. <laughs> eat, 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 eat. Ferret soup for the soul. No. That's gone too far. No. <laughs> oh, wow. So everybody correct on that first beer of the game. Moving on to the second and moving on to Steph to guess first on this one. Our next beer of the game is called I Am the Wall Russian Imperial Stout. <laughs> Do you want me to spell that one? <laughs> I'm going to be here for a little while. <laughs> Are there any spaces? Yeah, after I, am, and the, and Russian Imperial Stout. I'll say real. Steph is saying that is real. Laura, what do you think? I'm going to go with real. All right, all right. Cuckoo Kuchu, I say real also. Oh, Cuckoo Kuchu, everybody's saying real. Everybody agreed on the last one. Everyone was right. This time, everyone is wrong. Because ah, it's I <laughs> make. Man, I was going to buck the trend. Yeah, I know. So basically, these first two questions, have we might as well have not even done them. <laughs> so we're all in the same spot right now. There are beers out there called I Am the Walrus, a Berliner Weiss from Hidden Springs Ale Works, and also Imperial Walrus uh, from Vassen Brewing Company. And that one is a Russian Imperial Stout, but none of them have climbed to the heights of punnery. That is, I Am the Wall Russian Imperial Stout. Moving on You're to so our proud next, of yourself too. I like that one. I, I haven't come up with a good fake beer name on this uh, game in a while that I was like, I'm going to remember that one. I'm going to remember that one. Laura, you are up to guess first on our next beer of the game. And this one is called Brown Eyed Squirrel. Uh -huh. Is that real or fake? Are these all fake? Is this all a game of fakes? 
Uh, I'm going to say real. I'm going to go All with right. real. All right. Laura going real on that one. Dan, what do you think? It sounds like it would be dirty, but it's not. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was debating which way I wanted to go with it besides real or fake. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say real. All right. Dan saying that one is real. Finally, Steph. Fake. Oh, oh, finally, we get some disagreement. Man. Uh -oh. Steph bucks the uh -oh. trend, and it does not pay off because no, that is no. a real beer. That is a real beer from South Carolina's RJ Rockers Brewing. Yeah, that checks out. Brown Eyed Squirrel is an American brown ale that was formerly called Bald Eagle Brown. Less interesting, less fun. Um, there is a little bit more to the beer's identity crisis, though. The brewery's website and untapped listed as an American brown ale, but on Beer Advocate, it's called an English brown ale, and it has a different description that touts it as an alternative to boring domestic beers. Huh. Interesting. That's my fact on that. Our first real beer of the game, and we spin back around to Dan for this, our penultimate. Oh, there's the word. Penultimate beer of the game. You're going to guess first on this one. This one is called Velasa Lager. <laughs> I like all the animal themes. Is that what it is? They're all animals. I told you it was a bonus <laughs> point. <laughs> I'll give you a, I'll give you a provisional point and I'll Provi decide at the end if it's worth it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't know we were supposed to guess the theme. <laughs> the Lassa Lager. That is correct, sir. God, that sounds dumb enough to be real. I'm sorry if you thought of that. All right, Dan. It's, I'm it's, really sad. It's not comments. the first time that this sort no, of comment No, it's just like he this. wanted to. It's supposed to be close to Velociraptor, but Velocilogger is like, it's a stretch. We've had everything on this game up until I'm going to say that's real because if you came up with that name, I will think less of you as a person. <laughs> <laughs> Velocilogger, Steph, real or fake? I am going to say real, and I actually think it's an awesome beer name. All right, all right, Steph saying real for the completely opposite reason. Finally, Laura, agree, disagree. I'm going to stray from the pack. I'm going to say it's fake. Oh, going your own way doesn't pay off again because it is real. <laughs> it is real. <laughs> it is. I'm glad I didn't insult you by <laughs> no, you accident. <laughs> I, the, the funny thing about what I said earlier is it's never turned out that that was correct. Like, it was always the thing that made you not hate me. Okay. I've always lucked out. Uh, <laughs> But yes, Velocilager is a traditional Vienna lager from Center Street Brewing in Wallingford, Connecticut. Don't really have much more interesting information about this beer, but I agree with Steph. It's not really that clever of a pun because it doesn't fit neatly, no. but it's just super fun to say. Velocilager. No. It does roll off the top. I don't think it's fun to say. Either. I like it. I, I like it. Uh, Laura, what do you think? Velocilager? Good name, baby. Oh, definitely a good name. If you, All right. If, if, if it was fake, I was going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> also, it wouldn't be the first time that's happened. True. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we are about to come up to our final beer of the game. So at this point, we're going to add up the scores so we can determine the order of operations for the final question. Dan has three points. Steph has two points. Laura has two points. Oh, man. So Dan is in the lead. Laura and Steph tied just behind, but that is not counting Steph's perhaps crucial provisional That's points. That's just not fair. We'll find out at the end. Uh, so the only thing we have to do is make uh, Dan guess last. Are we sure about that? Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it that time. So we'll start with Steph, go to Laura, and end with Dan. Our final beer of the game is called... Oh. My best friend is a Gila monster named Eugene. <laughs> is that real or fake? Oh, wait. Dan needs to go first. Fuck. Because see? He's... See? I knew it. I thought I had it this time. What Dan? is this? Episode 215 and you still don't know how this works? My anyway, best friend is a Gila monster named Eugene. It's not best... true, but is it the name of a beer or fake? I mean, I would believe that your best friend was a little monster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with fake. Dan saying that is fake, Steph. Okay, then I'm going to say real. Finally, Laura, what do you think? I'm going to go with real. All right, Laura, Steph saying real. Dan saying fake. Dan is correct. Ah! <laughs> it is fake. It is not only fake. It is also ridiculous, and it is also indicative of the lengths you have to go to to come up with fake beer names that people haven't yeah. used. <laughs> I'm actually surprised you can still come up with names that people haven't used. It's, it's not a it's not a ding at your creativity. No, it gets it it's gets, just yeah. It gets harder and harder and harder. So that's the end of the that's game. What she said, "Oh boy, there it is." Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> we're gonna we're gonna tally up the scores, find out the fate of that uh, uh, ethereal bonus point. Dan, obviously, today's winner with four out of five points, a pretty respectable showing. Sans bonus points, Steph and Laura both tied for second place with two points apiece. I would suggest that Steph refuse the bonus point in solidarity with our <laughs> guest today. I'm okay with that choice. Okay, thank you. I'm glad we all came to that amicable decision. Wait, wait. Don't tell me. Alter okay. Alternative. What if I renounce my last point and give it to Laura and Steph takes her bonus point? Then we have a German sparkle party, right? I like German sparkle party. <laughs> so that would put everybody at three points? Yeah. <laughs> Solidarity, man. <laughs> all right, all right. The proletariat are rising. <laughs> Overthrowing the bourgeoisie. <laughs> three points to Steph. Three points to Laura. Three points to Dan. Everyone, happy and equal today in Happy Fun Time Woo! Games. Thank you so much for playing. If you are watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching it. Do all the YouTube things. I don't need to tell you. You know what they are. Um, and talk to us. Leave a comment. I, I will say that one because that's cool. But this is, of course, the part of the podcast where we have to shout out to our most generous patrons, on Patreon for donating uh, at the highest levels to keep this show going. We really couldn't do it without them. We would like to thank them beginning with Chris Mahoney. Look into your heart. Oh boy. Followed by Dana. It better be a puppet. Sean Sullivan. Baby steps. PA Brew Review. Pow, pow, flavor, cool shit. Fuck yeah. Topher Simmons. Love Dick. Poor Man's Brewing Company. Let's go to the van. Jill Chivers. Syndicated. James Lambert. I want to drink beer. Agreed. Eric Dixon. I like cheese. Agreed as well. Jen McDonald. Dude, I, I love cheese. Mm -hmm. Brian Mills. They also make cheese. Yes, they do. Ron McDonald. Don't touch my cheese. Also, happy birthday. Yeah. Not at the time of this release, but recording. Happy birthday, Ron. Uh, and finally, the one and only that is no baloney, Joe Mansell. Wow, wow, wow. Jesus. Sorry. Big Sorry. One. If you want to find out how you get on this list, uh, get other perks, get bonus content, behind the scenes stuff, go to patreon.com slash beer busters. Pause and save. Pay your tab. Tip your bartenders. <laughs> uh, Don't forget to stop the recording. I always forget to stop the recording. <laughs> Just like a